Hello, everybody. It's uh, me, Adam, from Twin Crows. And I want to talk about Dead or Alive 6, the season pass going on right now. There's a lot of talk about it being $92, 99 cents. Uh, it's not $100, but with tax, it probably could push it. Probably could. Uh, <clears throat> first, I want to talk about what did you get in this season pass. The season pass is for 62 costumes, two new characters, and it's for content released March 2019 to June 2019. Um, you also get two bonus content. It's costumes. You get a Technomancer gear costume for Nico and a wrestling costume for Niyu Tingu. Um, also... Something else we should add is some content may be released during this time frame and it not be inc included with this season pass, which is kind of weird. How that I don't know how that works really. Uh, I guess maybe it's something to do with like crossover DLC, you know, like Attack on Titan, for example. They had that in Dead or Alive 5. Um, the game comes with basically the season pass anyways. 64 costumes for the season pass and two new characters. One of them being Maya Shirane from the King of Fighters game. Um, is it worth its price value? To be honest, honestly, like if, if you go and look at the actual price for this, it actually is worth its price value. I'm not, but I'm not gonna pay ninety-two fucking dollars for this, you know. And I'm, I'm going to tell you why it's actually it's is worth its actual price tag. That doesn't mean you should go out and buy it. Okay, so you got two characters and sixty-two costumes plus two bonus ones, so sixty-four costumes. Uh, in Dead or Alive Five, characters can cost about five bucks to eight dollars. Uh, generally it was five because it was, uh, sort of Tet McCoy characters, right? But when they were Kingdom Fighter characters, like my Shirane, they were eight bucks, right? So let's assume that they're eight dollars a piece. Might be less. Might be less. But I'm assuming that the two characters are eight dollars. One might be eight, one might be five, but like I said, let's assume that they're just eight dollars. So that's sixteen bucks. Okay, so ninety-two dollars. Minus 16. I'm going to put this on screen also, by the way, for the video. So, that is $76.99. Alright, so divide that between 64 costumes. And you get bought a dollar and 20 cent per costume. That's really, really good price. It really is. Surprisingly, it is. Um, a lot of games can charge costumes from mobile games. Like 5 10 bucks a character. Like, there's a few games I play for mobile, right? And I go to look for costumes, and they're fucking ridiculous. They're, like, they're at least 10 bucks. Some go up even more. You know, and some of them don't even really even have special effects, right? League of Legends is a game that uh, co outfits can cost about 10, 10 bucks. Sometimes 5, or in between 5 to 10. Um, some of them are actually a lot more than the skins, the actual uh, model changes. But it's... I would argue that a lot of those models aren't as high quality as the outfits or the character models in Dead or Alive 6. So, I don't know if it's a good comparison, but a dollar and twenty cent per costume, that's actually a really good price. Um, but is it a good value for you? That's the problem. Is it a good value for you? So, that's how you go to Walmart. Walmart has this weird bundle sale, right? All these outfits. So let's say, you know, they got male outfits and female outfits, you know? Different sizes uh, for small men, medium men, large men, plenty for the women, you know? Different sizes. Um, so let's say you might have, you know, you can wear a few of them, but you got all the other outfits, you can't really wear them, right? So what you gonna do with them? Maybe give them away? Maybe? Can't do that here, really, in this season pass. So what I'm getting at is you're going to have a lot of shit you can't use. And in this game, you could use all of them costumes, right? But this is how fighting games generally work. 
people have mains. And I, when I play a fighting game, I don't play every single character. Not even in a game like Dragon Ball Fighters, where I'm a huge fan of a lot of the characters in, in the game, or Naruto Shippuden. I don't play all them characters. So, you know, let's say, for example, Tintin 10 and Naruto. I don't play Tintin. 10 so why would I want to fucking cost him for if I'm, not, if I'm not going to play Tintin? 10 you see what I'm getting with this here? If I don't play Hayate, do I want to cost him for Hayate? No, I don't. Do, do I play Bass? No, I, I don't. Do I play Christy? No. Do I play Helena? No. Okay. I mean, that's my point. You're not playing all these characters. You know, maybe you will. Hey, okay, that's, I guess that's fine, I suppose. But it comes down to it is, I wouldn't buy this, this season pass because I'm not going to get any use out of it because I'm only going to play a few characters. Like, I might every now and then try out a character, but I'm not going to try out a character where I'm trying out every single costume they have. I'm not doing that. That's just not just me, you know? So, I don't think the... It's it's a lot of money. It really is. Um, $92 is... But it actually makes its price value. It really does. But, you know, let's say you go to a butcher's block, you know, some kind of meat market. And you don't like hamburger meat for whatever reason, all right? So you pay, I don't know, a hundred dollars. You know, half of it's hamburger meat, half of it is chicken. You love fucking, you love chicken, right? You, you, you're you're okay with eating chicken, but you hate hamburger meat. Well, not y'all all that hamburger meat sitting there, and you're not even using it, right? So I mean, you eat all that chicken meat, so sit there, it gets freezer burnt or something, or it ain't no good. You don't want to eat it no more. And it's sitting there. That's how that's how this this shit is, right? And, and to be honest, all cosmetic DLC is goods that are going to expire eventually. And what I mean by that is, you pay an outfit for a video game, um, two four years down the line, maybe sooner, you stop playing that game. So you just spent money on a fucking costume, and. You, you see what I'm going with this? It's kind of like League of Legends. League of Legends, uh, I used to buy about almost every new skin that came out. Whether I liked it or not. And eventually, I got to the point where I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm spending way too much money. What is going on here? I'm buying shit I'm not even using. You have to be careful. This is actually a problem people will get to. is Especially the bonus content. If you want the Nico and Neo Tingu outfits, the two bonus outfits, you can only get them from buying this season pass. So, it is Tecmo at fault? I think so, because I don't like that. You know, having two costumes locked behind it, because it sort of makes the player feel like, oh man, the only way I can get this outfit is actually to cave in and pay a hundred fucking dollars, you know? With that said, it actually is worth its price value, but to me, it's not, you know, as a person. I, I, I will not pay for shit I'm not going to use. That's how I look at it, you know. If you are going to play the game that much in every single character, hey, fine. Go ahead. I mean, who's going to who's gonna say no, you know? I mean, whatever. If, if, if you want to, just go ahead and do it, you know. Games like Final Fantasy XIV, that where you got to pay to, to buy the game, and the expansions and pay monthly will charge nearly fucking thirty dollars for a goddamn mount, and I don't think that a, a, a twenty-five dollar, thirty-dollar mount is is equivalent to two months of subscription time. I don't. That's probably the reason why people get these mounts in other ways, which is probably going to be getting cracked down pretty soon. A lot of video games do this kind of shit. A lot of video games will do this kind of stuff. Uh, make cosmetics and DLCs. The best thing you do is not buy them. Unless you really, really want an outfit. That doesn't hurt to buy one or two outfits <coughs> for our favorite character. Nothing wrong with that. But don't pay $95 fucking dollars. Because it's probably about $95 the tax. Don't pay $95 with tax. Another thing, too, that's going to suck is if you buy that character and eventually decide to buy that season pass for whatever reason, 
Well, you just lost money because you don't get prorated either. So that's another thing. You do not get prorated for buying shit in this season pass, okay? So if you buy half of those costumes legit and then you know what? You decide to buy the season pass, it's still going to be $92. Granted, though, a lot of these season passes, how they normally work, especially in the last game, um, near the end of the year or during E3, after they've been out for a while, they will go on sale. Sometimes it's 25 or 50%, 50 percent half off. So, you gotta understand. Be careful with your money. Um, but it it actually is media's value. So that's all I got to say about Dead Alive Six. I haven't played the game yet. I bought it. I'm going to be playing it soon. Uh, but it's not as bad as everybody makes it out to be. The the season pass. Um, it's not like Evolve, you know, how Evolve had a season pass, but was selling about 50 something dollars of cosmetics, not included in season pass. It's not like that here. Uh, it is still high, but don't buy it. You're not saving any money, really. If you want to play the characters that they come out, just buy them. Pay the $8, you know, it's going to be about $8 per character, maybe five. Like I said, be careful with your money. Be smarter. Don't be dumb. Uh, if you want to have the two outfits and you got money to spend, whatever, go ahead. I don't give a fuck. I mean, I, me personally, I'm not going to pay $100 for these, these season one passes, whatever. But if somebody wants to, that's their prerogative. But, you know, be careful. Don't get don't get duped. You know, don't buy this shit. And next, you know, oh, I don't, I don't want this cop soon no more. I don't like it. That's going to happen. Be careful with your money. That's all I have to say. I'm out. You guys have a nice day.